time to introduce ourselves. We are the Hutchinsons, Chris, Tamira, Olivia, Scarlett and Bella. We started this journey three weeks ago, leaving the UK to live in Malaysia. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm just going to put it out there before we move on to anything else. Yes, I did go get my hair dyed. Uh, <laughs> I was meant to be having my roots done, but there's a bit of a language barrier. So it looks a little bit different. It looks really good. <laughs> I'm going to leave it for now, but I just wanted to get that out there on this this part here. If you're looking at me realising that I'm a little bit darker slash red. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't it, we have lived here in Penang now for the past three weeks um, and we thought we'd do a video today on the real reason why we packed up, sold all our belongings including our house, our family home and left to come here. Come on in to our lovely apartment. I thought I'd give you a little tour around so you get to know what it looks like. As you come into the main room lovely and spacious here we've got bella laid out on our luxury sofa right there lovely and spacious room as you walk forward you've got wonderful views of the outside sea views all the way across we've got the luxury hill and resort over there lovely view to wake up to on a morning as we come round here we have this lovely dining table and the girls are homeschooling right now say hello to everybody in the uk girls as we go from dining table, that's where they're doing the schooling, we come into the kitchen, but I want to give you the full effect. Welcome to the kitchen. So you come on in, lovely, again, lots of appliances. This is where I create masterpieces. All the food is done in here, the smells are there, the noises, and I really get to work in here. We come out of the kitchen, and beyond here we have Three bedrooms, three big size bedrooms, lovely and spacious for all the girls and us. We've got two bathrooms, would you believe it? It's literally perfect. And I wanna show you something super interesting in one of the bathrooms. Come and have a look. So as we walk through the master suite, we come into the ensuite, and I've never seen this before. I've never ever seen this before. They've got a genius invention over here in Malaysia. And we've got the usual toilet, it's pretty normal. However, to the side of that, they've got this thing that I've never seen. And I've worked out it's like a hose pipe and you can sort of hose, hose the toilet down after you've been to the toilet and done your business. It's genius and also it doubles up. Like sometimes when you sat on the toilet and you need a little bit of a drink, you can just have a drink if you want a drink. So I think that is an ingenious invention. I think it's gonna really catch on in other countries soon. So well done, Malaysia. Right, off we go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is our humble abode here in Malaysia. Lovely and spacious. It's got everything we need. We're super lucky and we hope you've enjoyed this tour. So today we have come to a Thai Buddhist temple in Penang. This temple was built in 1845 and its main feature is the 33 metre long reclining Buddha. For all of you new people that have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. We just wanted you to get to know us a little yeah. bit more as people, um, see what our family is kind of about uh, and then we'll continue, we'll continue our journey. But I want, we wanted to do a yeah. kind of... This is what we're doing, this is why, and how we kind of are at the moment and how we're feeling about things. We are just a general family of five from the UK. Um, we had set up our family home and me and Tamara had lived there for 10 years. Um, we got married in 2015, we bought the house in 2013, so just before that, and we lived there, had all three girls there. We were on the, the the normal trajectory where we had children, we had our family home, we had the cars, we had our jobs, we had everything that was running in that way. Obviously, COVID happened for everybody. That kind of halted everything for us. That then made us sort of realize, we, we took a moment, took a breather and realized like, actually, we weren't seeing each other we weren't spending time with the girls and, and actually bringing the girls up. Um, and 
COVID really did help us because we were, we were able to slow down and actually realize that we were basically working non-stop, like all the time, and just really on this constant treadmill of life. We just got blessed by a monk, it was really euphoric, it was amazing, really eye-opening, lovely and then they're just giving us our blessed bracelets and drinks and just really kind, I just, it's just amazing, it's so amazing to be here. The kindness and everything is just really nice. Travel has been something that me and Chris have always wanted to do and if you go right back into our relationship we fell pregnant with our Olivia mm. quite early on yeah. in the relationship so we kind of got catapulted into this mm. this way of life and it kind of was like oh well we'll go traveling when we retire we ended up thinking well what we might not make it to retirement or we might not be healthy enough when we're at that age um, and actually we want to experience everything with our children um, and the way that they've responded since being here has just been incredible. They've just, the faces have just lit up day by day and we wanted to experience that and we've chosen that for us and for them. So far it's been three weeks, but it's just been magical. So we've just visited the reclining Buddha in the temple behind me and it was just incredible in there. Super quiet, relaxing, calming. People are in there praying. Um, everybody's just so respectful in there and kind. And it was just such a nice environment and incredible in the place itself. Lots of detail. The Buddha itself is gold plated and so, so big. Um, it just really is special to come to a place like this and take the girls along with us so they can learn and experience different cultures just like this one. The main reason why we decided to leave the UK was as a family we were not having enough time together. Yeah. This is the reason why why we have done this and I think since being here I think it's just absolutely blown our minds yeah. to the point of um, I've kind of earmarked Penan uh, uh -huh. to maybe potentially come back because we just feel like we just slot in yeah. here and the girls are so happy um but we'll see because there's we're, we're it's, a, it's been such a weird situation because we're at like um we've been here three weeks but we have kind of we're really comfortable and we feel so like we we could just adjust to living here but obviously we have got such a journey so, well, we've got so much more we've to got explore. more places in malaysia more countries to go to over this next period of time so who knows what we're sort of going to feel we're excited to to experience all these places and and things but Penang has been incredible for the past three weeks so we've just come from the temple it was excruciatingly hot so we were hiding in the shade. We've now walked all the way down here and we've found another hocker which has got a really good design. Me and Chris are really full because we've all had lunch, so none of us want to eat. So we've got a drink each, but there's an amazing um, barbecue fish place. And I have just ordered our first tiger prawn fresh from ice on the barbecue with the shell, with the legs and the little eyeballs to try just now. Oh, that's like lovely meat. Oh, that looks nice. There it is. It looks so nice and white. It smells of garlic and cheese. Oh my goodness. It's like it's chicken, but even fresher, and it holds the taste even more. That is so, so yummy. I'm actually in shock while I just tried it. Really. So the, the, the prawn meat is definitely cemented in its body. That was hard to get off. 
but this is my first ever tiger prawn this is what I love about Malaysia we've just visited an incredible temple and got that experience now we're having a fresh tiger prawn that's just been barbecued on the side of the street it's full of chili full of garlic I've never had this before I've had small prawns but here we go Wow Wow So much taste Really nice really nice meat full of flavor that for me is an absolute winner So on a personal update of myself I think that I am overwhelmed with how happy I am and I'm feeling really good in myself I am feeling a little bit slightly bruised about my hair situation but we'll get it sorted and we'll just rock it for now but I think personally I'm feeling really really good um, everything's a new experience I'm really enjoying living to the maximum and sharing all of that time with my family whereas normally be quite individual but enjoying that time with them has been really really good experiencing and taking on everything together and I really really enjoy documenting it and sharing it with you guys um, I really hope that we do inspire some of you to just take the leap and give things a go all as a family just because we've had children does not mean life has stopped or we're living just for them we are living as a whole family Knowing that we were going to be here for a couple of weeks, I reached out to a local swimming club to see if I could get Olivia into swimming training and see how they run things as well. And we came across the Chinese swimming club uh, in Penang and they were so lovely and invited us down to train. They also do two hour training sessions, which has been a lot for Olivia. So I'm so proud of her for getting in and giving it a go. We'll have a couple more sessions before we leave here, but the Chinese Swimming Club has been absolutely brilliant. The coaches really know their stuff. We really hope you've kind of got some information out of this video. We don't know if we've just waffled on. Yeah, waffled <laughs> on a little bit. We've done some amazing stuff that we've really loved and we hope you've enjoyed. We've got some great feedback, but we want to do something a bit different today where you got to know our background a little bit more. So, and why we are doing what we are doing. Yeah. Um, if you're still watching, thank you so much. <laughs> Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit that thumbs up button and we shall see you in the next video, which I've got a little secret. It's going to be food related. It is. It is. I'm excited. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.